Hi folks, this is Checkpoint Quiz 8.2. In number one, we're given a system of linear equations. We're asked to solve it using an augmented matrix. Then we're asked to classify the system and then to check our answer algebraically. Okay, so the first step in this is we encode this into the matrix and we have a column for each of the variables and then a column for the constants. And then we have a row for each of the equations. So if I'm going to encode the first equation, I've got 3x, 2y, 1z equal to 1. In the second equation, I have 1x minus 1y, 3z minus 3. And the last equation is 2x, 5y, negative 11z, and 8. And so what's my goal? I've put it into the matrix. And my goal is to put it into reduced row echelon form. Okay, so that means my, my ideal goal is I've got a 1 up here, zeros underneath it, a 1 here and zeros above and below it, and then a 1 down here with zeros above it. And then whatever these answers are, okay, this is going to be my answer for x, and that's going to be my answer for y, and that's going to be my answer for z. Okay, so if I can actually get it to look like this, I would have a consistent independent system and I'd be able to read my answers off straight away. Okay, so how do I go about doing this? Well, I've got those three row operations which are inherited from the three kinds of operations I had, I was allowed to do on equations. So the first thing I go after is the one in the upper left hand corner. So is there a quick way to get a one up there? Well, yeah, I can just switch row one and row two. So that's my first step, is switch uh, row 1 and row 2. Now I've got a 1 up here, I want to get zeros underneath it. And so this is where we use the elimination steps like we did before. So I'm going to replace row 2 with negative 3 row 1 plus row 2. And I'm going to replace row 3 with negative 2 row 1 plus row 3. So row 1 I'm keeping the same for now. So I multiply each entry by negative 3 and then add it to the entry below it. So negative 3 times 1 plus 3 is 0. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9, plus 1 is 10. Now I replace row 3 with negative 2 row 1 plus row 3, which means I multiply each entry by negative 2 and then add it to the corresponding entry in row 3. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Add that to 2, I get 0. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus negative 11 is negative 17. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, plus 8 is 14. So I have a 1 here, and I have zeros underneath it. What I'd like to do now is get a 1 here, and then get a 0 underneath that. So I'm going to replace row 2 with... 1 -fifth row 2. So row 1 I'm keeping the same for now. I multiply every entry in here by a fifth. And row 3 I'm keeping the same for now.
All right, so I've got a 1 in the upper left-hand corner, zeros underneath it. I've got a 1 here. I want to get a 0 underneath it, so I'm going to replace row 3 with negative 7, row 2, plus row 3. All right, so row 1 is the same. Row 2 I'm keeping the same. And now the new row 3. I multiply each entry by negative 7 and then add it to what's down here. So negative 7 times 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 7 times 1 plus 7 is 0. If I multiply this by negative 7, I get a positive 56. over 5. I have to add that to negative 17. So in other words, I need to subtract 17. So I've got to get a common denominator here of fifths. So it's 56 fifths minus, that would be 50 plus uh, 35, 85 fifths. And that's going to work out to be uh, 29. Multiply this by negative 7 and add, I get 0. So I have a 1 with zeros underneath it. I've got a 1 here with a 0 underneath it. Now I want to get a 1 here. And the fastest way to do that is to multiply row 3 by 5 29ths. So I'm going to multiply each entry in row 3 by 5 29ths. Oops, that should be negative 29 fifths. So I'd be multiplying by negative 5 29 ths. So we get 1, negative 1, 3, negative 3 for row 1. 0, 1, negative 8 fifths, 2. And then I'd have 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay? Now this is. Uh, row echelon form. So this corresponds to the triangular form we had back in 8.1. But with just two more row operations we can get this thing into reduced row echelon form and then uh, be able to read off our answers lickety split. So what I want to do now is work backwards. I've got a 1 down here in the lower right hand corner. I'm going to use it to wipe out what's above it. So I'm going to replace row 2 with 8 fifths, row 3, plus row 2. That'll take care of the non-zero number there. And then I'm going to replace row 1 with negative 3, row 3 plus row 1. So row 3 is the one that I'm keeping the same for now. So I multiply by 8 fifths and add to the row above it. So 8 fifths times 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 fifths times 0 plus 1 is 1. 8 fifths times 1 plus negative 8 fifths is 0. 8 fifths times 0 plus 2 is 2. Multiply row 3 by negative 3 and then add it up to row 1. Negative 3 times 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 3 times 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 3 times 1 plus 3 is 0. And negative 3 times 0 plus 3 is negative 3. Alright, so I have a 1 in the upper left hand corner, zeros underneath it. I've got a 1 here and zeros underneath it. I've got a 1 here with zeros above it. So now I'm going to use this 1 here to get zeros above it. So I'm going to replace row 1 with uh, row 2 plus row 1. And that'll get it into reduced row echelon form. Alright, so last step. 
row three is done. Row two is done. The new row one, I'm adding row two to row one. Zero plus one is one. One plus negative one is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Two plus negative three is negative one. 